Hey all, Tapes here, back with another Prehistoric Kingdom video. So just a quick look today at the build pieces. So this this is really pretty impressive, and there's various reasons why this is really pretty impressive. There's lot, only lots of pieces, um, so not an enormous number of props and stuff yet, but we have got one, two, three, four, five, six, what's that, six different textures. So bear in mind this is still alpha, but within each texture we've got quite a large number of different individual pieces uh, we also have quite a large number of different flooring pieces as well so these various different curves and stuff so we have two different timbers a concrete a stone uh, like a cladding and then a uh, like a metal cladding uh, you also get a whole glass set so full kind of glass set replication of the existing kit that we've got over here uh, we've got roaring dinosaurs in the background I told them would be quiet but they couldn't help themselves quite an extensive number of different ceiling options as well so this is pretty impressive quite an array again there's like four different types of ceiling I believe and then we've got you know a whole load of different pieces in here so loads of different kind of you see the different kind of roof types trim edges all that sort of stuff um, in terms of kind of props and stuff, we're not an enormous amount. So these are these are the kind of um, these are the kind of standard build pieces. I'm not going to use the terms grid and non-grid, and I'll show you exactly why that why I'm going to say that in a second. These are build pieces. So these are some canopies, a little decent sort of set of glass uh, pieces. So kind of no border, border opaque. Uh, then we have some some canopies uh, so these are like uh, kind of awning covers I think there are a couple of fences and and some some door sets in terms of actual kind of props not loads oh excuse me not loads in terms of props so we've got a bunch of ropes um, some slatted slatted plank boards here some girders uh, some logs etc now I think that even by itself is pretty impressive. Oh, and also we have a bunch of fonts. I'm going to show you a little trick as to why that's really pretty more impressive than it might appear. I actually personally think that's already pretty impressive for um, an alpha and to be you know early access alpha. The trick is though, and we're going to do it on base. We're going to do it on this little sign here, this font here. So you might initially look at that font set and go. Uh, yeah, there's one font and it's not very big it's all it's all one size but don't forget the thing we have in this game is this ability to be able to scale stuff so even though that's one font I can make that one font into any number of different sizes I want to I can continue actually to do that this might be something they take out but as you as you duplicate that font or at that piece I then get the ability to be able to scale it again. I don't actually need to be scaling it how I'm doing it here. Uh, and confirm that. So now look at the size difference. Look how quickly I went from yeah, the size of that font there to this tiny font here. Now bear in mind, I'm showing you it on the font, but that, that applies to everything. That applies to everything here. So you want to make a... Yeah, you want to make one of these posts longer. Yes, we've only got those size options. Well, all you have to do is make your own piece, make your own log. So make a great big long pole or a little short fat dumpy one. It's a real difference. It takes a bit of time to get your head around. I'm starting to get my head around it now. Uh, but it, yeah, it's a real kind of different mindset as to how you use these. Um, and it, I'm showing you this on the the props here but these are the grid items so if I duplicate this it's on a grid as you'd expect but there's none but there's no kind of hindrance in me resizing that so again even though that might appear you might look at that initially and kind of go okay well I don't have like a thin column piece we'll just make your own really simple make your own and so this is really just a foundation and we have got so many different possibilities we can make from just the small set they've already given us same with glass 
same with every object basically what we're looking for is just a kind of a, you know some extra textures and things so yeah you can't change the shape of a font for example um so yeah i thought i'd just show you that guys i think it's super impressive another little short video more to come soon uh um yeah i thought i'd keep this one short because i've got some creative building stuff going on my first speed build is on its way soon anyway thank you very much for watching my name is toves don't forget to like and subscribe and i should catch you guys on the next one take it easy